What's up, lovers? It's me again, Irene, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to share with you guys the process of my wedding dress hunt. Ah! By the time you guys are watching this, I am probably gonna get married Aww. in a few days. I'm so, so excited. And the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys is number one, of course, I wanted to document and film my journey because it's probably going to be one of the most memorable moments of my life. And I wanted to see the journey and the process of finding the dress. And of course, for the bride to bees out there, I also wanted to encourage you guys and share my thoughts and tips on how I was able to find my dress. So I have one for my welcome dinner, one for the actual ceremony, and one for the after party. Let me share with you guys how it all started from the very beginning. Yeah. Honestly, I was so lucky also because I was able to visit a lot of shops in other countries. So, kasi every time I have a work trip abroad or even a vacation with my friends, I always try to squeeze in at least a few hours in a day to visit a bridal shop just to see my options and choices. When I was talking to my friends who already got married, they said talaga na if your dress is one of your priorities, because syempre ang dami nangyayari sa wedding, right? So they told me na you have to list your non-negotiables or your priorities and start from there. And the wedding dress, they told me that I should at least have the wedding dress that I want five to six months before my wedding. So actually, right after I got engaged, one month after palang, I was already in the hunt for my wedding dress. And I'm very, very lucky that I have a lot of fairy bride mothers. <laughs> but I have my siblings, I have Camille, I have Nana, I have a lot of people who were helping me out in the process also. Let me take you to my first ever visit which is in Hong Kong. May mga dates pa yang kasama. But the first ever city that I visited for my wedding dress hunt is Hong Kong. Kasi yun yung pinakmalapit din. Hong Kong, I visited four bridal shops and honestly, super ganda ng the loft. I fell in love with most of their dresses there. But since it was my first visit, I didn't want to commit yet because it was also super early and I wanted to see my choices. I had a lot of work trips lined up so I wanted to see kung ano pa meron in those other ones. My second visit was Rosa Clara here in Manila because they have amazing selections also. Taking note that I am gonna have a beach wedding, I had something in mind na gusto ko for the beach. Again, super dami maganda sa Rosa Clara but I felt like it would be more perfect for a church wedding than a beach wedding. Okay, today is August 5 of 2023 and I just finished having lunch with my siblings and my mom. We are on our way to Rosa Clara. I'm gonna be trying on bridal gowns here in Manila to see if meron coming okay for welcome night or wedding day. Hi! It's a family affair. <laughs> My fairy god siblings are here. Katawan sa ka smile jan. Katawa kasi ako yung mom. Inunahan ka pa ni. Bangkok naman, it was a trio trip again. We didn't vlog this time. The bridal shop wasn't in our itinerary, but nung naglalakad kami sa streets, may nadaan ng kaming bridal shop and Cams and Chris insisted na, check lang natin, wala naman mo nasama akong titignan natin, di ba? So we went inside. <laughs> wala naman kaming agenda and I didn't think I was gonna buy anything in Bangkok too. But it was a fun session with my girls. Okay, we randomly saw a bridal shop and Camille insisted we go inside to try on some. So, ganatin. 
she insisted. <laughs> the New York was so fun for me because I was with my sister and also Raymond Santiago, who is doing my hair for my wedding day. We visited several bridal shops and tried on a lot of gowns. Honestly, ang ganda rin ng selections in New York, but I still didn't find the one that hit my heart the most. But parang I kept looking back at Hong Kong and dun ako mas naglilin towards sa dress na na try on ko when I went to Hong Kong. And honestly speaking, we also didn't have enough time to actually prioritize the bridal hunt because we were only there for a few days and it was New York Fashion Week. We also didn't extend because and am doing work back in Manila. So, we make do na lang kami sa time namin doon. Just finished bridal shopping. Super dami magandon dresses, but since I've tried like three or four bridal shops already, I kind of have an idea kung ano yung cut na gusto ko, which is good. September 24, 2023, I think I just found my wedding gown. <laughs> I flew to Hong Kong again. So this is, fun fact, this is actually the first, first ever bridal shop visit ko with Nana pa when I went here. And during that time, I thought, parang ang hirap pumili if it's my first ever bridal visit. But going to a lot of shops already, dito talaga ako na in love. So I'm back. Bye. Yeah. LA in October, I think that was when I told myself that okay, if I didn't see anything that I liked in Hong Kong, I am probably going to Hong Kong again to check out the dress. LA was my last trip also. And since it was already October, six months before na lang wedding ko na, I told myself na by October, after LA trip, kailangan na decide na ako kung ano yung dress na gusto ko. The shop in LA, honestly, super cool ng dresses nila. I think it's really more for a cool bride than a traditional bride. There are the selections and even the designers do the shop super nice lahat so i think it's really more for like a cool girl bride nga more than traditional visited rosa clara again because surprise we actually had a church wedding here in manila and we didn't post anything then because it was really just intimate it was with me and miggy and our closest closest friends and immediate family lang of course we also celebrated with a few relatives afterwards during dinner but the dress that i wore there was rosa clara and it's absolutely beautiful I I felt my best when I was walking down the aisle and ang ganda ng fit, ang ganda ng color, ang ganda ng lahat. And I know here in Manila, medyo limited lang yung selections natin when it comes to bridal dresses. But honestly, for me, I really loved Rosa Clara. They were very hands-on. We also did a few alterations and even yung accessories namin, yung coin, yung veil, everything, it all came from them. I super love Rosa Clara and highly recommend them also. Sobrang tutok nila. So thank you, Rosa Clara, for that. And of course, my wedding dress. Hong Kong was my first ever bridal city visit, right? Dun din ang ending ko. Sa lahat na nakita ko dresses in between, my heart really fell in love with the dress that I found in Hong Kong. And it's so beautiful. When I tried it on, I felt my best. I felt confident. I felt sexy. I felt beautiful. And it was also perfect for a beach wedding in my opinion. After months and months and months of looking for the dress, I went back last October or November to actually buy the dress and then visited last February to actually get the dress. It is February 20 and I am about to pick up my wedding dress. At the Love Bridal, I'm here. This is my third or fourth time back. And final night, I'm picking it up and I'm getting married in a month and a half. I think it's okay to take your time when searching for the dress because sometimes may makikita tayo maganda and then you'll never know pala in the next few months may makikita ka pang mas gusto mo. So what I did was I really took pictures of the dresses that I wanted including the bridal shops. Thank you so much to the Loft Bridal for helping me out with this. They were very hands-on also and so easy to talk to. I also love their selections of brands. I honestly think it's one of my top choices when it comes to bridal shops in Hong Kong. Super ganda ng selections and honestly, worth a visit. I just wanted to stay there for hours really. But yes, thank you to The Loft. That's where I found my bridal dress. I'm so excited for my big day. So yes, just a few tips. I think it's okay to take your time when looking for your bridal dress. But syempre, hindi naman yung 
yung super take your time na one week na lang before your wedding day, wala ka pa rin dress, di ba? Sweet spot, I think, would be five to six months before your wedding date. Sana meron ka nang mahanap. That was the case for me. Also, think of your budget. If you have a budget in mind, think of that and work your way around that budget para at least every time you visit a bridal shop, you already say your budget and they'll just basically fix everything for you. Most bridal shops now, they also ask you what style you're looking for para at least alam na rin nila what they'll show you because of course, you can try on all the dresses, right? Most bridal shops allow three to five. So parang that's the sweet number of dresses that you can fit inside a bridal shop. But again, it's case-to-case -case basis because Hong Kong, they usually allow you three dresses to try on. In New York, as many as you want. So I think it depends per city. But already list down your favorites now. In terms of my welcome dress and my after party, I worked with local designers. For my welcome dinner dress, it was Raho Laurel who did it. Thank you so much, Raj. I love you so, so much. Super hands-on and ang ganda. Kaya, when I told him that the venue was gonna be at a beach, sobrang nakuha niya agad yung vision that I wanted. And I felt like it super fit the welcome dinner vibe also. I visited three to four times and had the best time with Raj. Aside from us fitting the gown and working on the design and the process of it all, I just had the best time of my life chatting with Raj. I met him when I was, nga natin sabihin, I was very, very new in the industry. I was still um, a contributing stylist sa magazine. Ganun na kaaga. So, tagal na rin na pinagsamahan namin. That's why I really felt like parang he was being an older brother to me the entire process. And I loved it. And for my after party, I worked with Nerik Beltran, another really good friend of mine na sobrang ganda din ng collections. Last year, he launched one all white and I fell in love with the styles and I felt like it was super cool and super fresh and super young. And for me, after party, I really wanted it. Easy breezy lang. Parang, of course, it's an after party. So, asabi ko, I wanna dance the night away. So, nothing super fit to me. And something nice pa rin, even when I'm dancing, it's like flowy. So, super ganda. And honestly, with Nerik, every time I go there, ganda rin ang suggestions niya on how we can make it breezier pa. Because I, I told Nerik also I wanted to show my legs during the after party. Para lang may dynamic. So, yung ceremony, long dress, and then after party, short na. Mga ganun lang naman. But also, of course, I'm not sharing with you guys the final dresses just yet because it's a wedding day na yon. but that is basically the entire process of my wedding dress hunt I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and again I'm really just so thankful to my siblings and my friends who really went with me Hong Kong to other cities to make sure that I look my best on my wedding day so yes I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did you know what to do please do not forget to leave some love like comment below and most importantly subscribe and hit that notification bell. And for the next few vlogs, probably gonna be about our wedding night. I'm so, so excited to share with you guys our big day. Um, but for now, enjoy ko naman ang mga alone time ko. Internalized, um, writing my vows. Ah! Okay, bye! See you!